Hello, my soccer universe. Uh, it's shortly before Atlanta plays ball on a Monday night, but soccer football never sleeps. So I need to do the what to watch video before I'll do the roundup video, which I hope to get you tomorrow, uh, meaning Wednesday morning European time. And yeah, let's see what we have to watch during the week, because as I said, football never sleeps. And thanks to cup competitions, we have a lot to play, but there are even two leagues with uh, two conference cards with a league, full league fixtures, one of which, as we'll see, is the Premier League. I'm wearing my new Leicester jersey, give it a first new outing. Yes, Leicester has, hasn't been all that great as of late, but nice jersey, deserves some outing as well. Let's dive right into it. I'm skipping Spain because the Copa del Rey is still in its early stages, and you know my rule for cup competitions, quarterfinal or later, unless it's a really big, big, big fixture early on. So we'll start right with the Premier League, where, yeah... Tuesday, we have a full slate of games. Bournemouth, Brighton, Everton, Newcastle, Sheffield United, City, Crystal Palace, Southampton, Villa, Watford, and the big one, Chelsea, Arsenal. Um, I don't like the kick of times, especially of Chelsea, Arsenal, which is the big name fixture here. I actually think Crystal Palace, Southampton, and Sheffield United, Manchester City, those are some sleeper ties. There, I could imagine something happening there, potentially. I'm sure that where I'm watching there will be some conference, but I'm not sure if I will watch that because we'll see there are some other things happening. On Wednesday, we have Spurs against Norwich and Leicester against West Ham. Yeah, and then uh, United against Burnley. It doesn't really uh, excite me all that much, to be honest, but the uh, Wolves-Liverpool clash on Thursday, that is exciting if it there wasn't a 9 o'clock kickoff. That's uh, at the, the schedule that we have currently uh, at home. This is a little bit of a killer. I honestly got to say. But yeah, let's see. I probably will get to some Premier League here and there. And we have also Germany is resting. That's fine. So we have Coppa Italia, where the quarterfinals are played on two different uh, match weeks. So we have the first two quarterfinals, which are one-legged, and then it goes into a two-legged semifinal, which are where the two legs, I think, are over a month apart, which doesn't make any sense, as far as I know. Tuesday, Napoli Lazio. <sighs> Three months ago, I would have said this is a great matchup. Now I see only Lazio winning in that one. But let's see, Napoli has a home game. Napoli finally needs to get something going. And on Wednesday with Juve Roma. Yeah, we just had this in the league. This could be an interesting one. Roma always plays Juve tight, although I don't foresee anything but an easy Juve win. The other two ties with the two Milanese Giants are played next week. And as you can see, both Milan teams are at home. So it's kind of curious, they play uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, the pitch will look horrible um, <laughs> on the weekend, for sure. Um, then we go further to France, where we have the League Cup semi-final. The first time we're talking about that one, we actually have a pretty interesting uh, draw with Lyon-Lille. Those are two top teams from last season. Lyon is a little bit in there, Lille is a little bit in there. But you know, I think that could be an interesting clash on the Reims against PSG. Yeah, that should be a one-sided game. But I think uh, Lyon Lille, if it wasn't that late of a kickoff again, um, that's one I actually would be interested in watching. And last but definitely not least, we also have a full round in Greece. Again, we have the PAOK um, Olympiakos title race. This time Olympiakos has a little bit of a tough uh, um, draw with uh, playing in on Crete against OFI. PAOK plays uh, away from home against Lamia, who is probably a little bit of an easier tie. Other than that, we have an Athens tie between Panathinaikos and Atromitos. And yeah, nothing else that really excites me. And Aris Xanti is kind of a regional thing, but not sure how big of a game it is. Well... And note the early kickoff times of that one. If I could watch it, I would, but I cannot officially watch the Greek League. Anyway, let me know what you'll be watching this week. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And as I said, Wednesday morning, so uh, if you watch this on post day tomorrow, I'll give you my roundup of the weekend games because there was quite some stuff happening and yeah, will be interesting. I know I'm lagging behind, but it's just not otherwise possible for me, unfortunately, at this time. Anyway, all the best and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.